His Excellency the President of the Federal Republic of Somalia, uh, His Excellency the Deputy Prime Minister, President of the Federal Member States, Excellencies, Ambassadors, Distinguished Guests, Members from the International Community, Ladies and Gentlemen, and all protocols observed. Good morning. I'm honored to be with you here today. In our most recent Security Council meetings, we committed to tackling head on the challenging aspects confronted by Somalia. We have witnessed several horrific acts of terror against our people with the most severe attack that Mogadishu has experienced recently. The, depro the deplorable act of 14 October speaks volumes to the need of strategically rooting out extremism and terrorism in all its forms. Our gathering here today signifies a new era of our fight to eliminate the enemy together. As we make headways in ensuring security gains, I must pay tribute to the support and solidarity shown in our recent tragedy by the international community. I'm also proud of the support we received from the federal member states, the diaspora, and other entities. The unity we have seen continues to flourish between all stakeholders, which is a great momentum. A shift in approaching our interests holistically to ensure the developments and achievements re realized in security gains. Today, we make the commitment of inclusive politics forward by taking stock on our progress made in London Conference. <coughs> Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, London Conference began several milestones that provide Somali's own trajectory for sustainable prosperity and lasting peace. Since I came to office, I have not known a period in Mogadishu more hopeful and with a positive outlook. This, however, is not without challenges. But I remain optimistic and committed in our determination to work together and focus beyond. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to share with you that Benadir Regional Security Council is established and functioning as well and functioning, as well as the District Security Committee for the entire 17 districts of Benadir Region. Through this, we have, identified, we have identified existing gaps that deter security, that de deter the sec securing the region and the capital city. The, tra the tragedy of 14th October, the incidents prior and after, are examples of the reality of Mogadishu's security environment. Therefore, one of the principal outcomes from, the, from, these, from these council meetings highlighted the need a need for a BRA to have a greater control of regional security, regional specific security forces, and to be held accountable for such a force. We know providing a specific security services administered at the local level is undeniable the best method. It provides the best approach to specific needs, better accountability, and thus allocating responsibility of the city's security to a regional and local model. We have already begun the footwork for such a paradigm, steps have been taken to enhance the Neighborhood Watch Scheme, which involves and empowers residents to do their part in securing their districts and neighborhoods. And what we know to be true is that these efforts are ineffective if residents don't have an effective local community police service to partner with. As I stated earlier, we have made some progress, yet, yet much more needs to be done. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Mogadishu is the capital city of Somalia and shares many aspects with any, other, with any other capital in the world. It has a large and highly populated city with a great density of business. It also, it also boosts one of, the highest, one, one, of, one of the highest concentration of government institutions, but as a result of decades of civil strife, it also has the highest number of different security forces given the constant threat, given the constant security threat it faces. This is why we are convinced of the need for BRA to have its own dedicated joint operation command and control. This is the best way forward if we aim to make gains from the investments made so far. If we are to deal with effectively with the security situation we face in Mogadishu and by extension Somalia, we have to ensure political, political security, social and economic issues are addressed in a comprehensive manner. This is why BRA places emphasis on PCVE. We must, all, we must all be aligned regarding our formulation of policies and bring down implementation of these policies at district level. 
the value of local administration is the ability to touch the lives of the people as it is closer to the people. And PCVE, for to be effective, it must be led and driven at the local level for local benefit. BRA cannot afford to maintain the status quo of security that continually tears down families. Our meeting today calls on taking a brave and courageous step towards shifting the security standard of Mogadishu and Benadir region, and by extension, Somalia. One courageous step is, is to commit to our benchmark of strategically, of strategically transitioning AMISOM to Somali security forces. However, I pay tribute to AMISOM for their selfless services, for their, self for their selfless service to Somalia, particularly Mogadishu. Not long ago, Benadir region was a frontline terror attack zone. AMISOM, together with Somali National Security Forces and the support of the international community, made it possible for the expansion of safety enjoyed by all Mogadishanaries. As BRA committees to transition and enjoys a good working relationship with AMISOM, we are ready to jointly work to establish transition based on areas of sustainable takeover, such as the Mogadishu Stadium. In conclusion, BRA welcomes the outcome of yesterday's National Security, National Security Meeting, particularly the agreement made on the resectorization of the SNF forces. This is a testament that FGS, FMS, and PRA are committed to working together for a common interest. Thank you for standing with, thank you for standing with Somalia in its development, but also during this new coming phase. Together, we can achieve our mission, and we, can, and we, appeal, and we appeal to you for your, partners, for your partnership and support. I thank you all.